Now, earlier today, Scotland's finance minister, Cade Forbes, officially launched her campaign to succeed scheming Nicola Sturgeon as first minister. She's currently the marginal favourite, and among her opponents is catastrophic Queen Nick Loyalist, Humza Yousaf, who entered the race yesterday. However, don't expect any dialing back of separatist rhetoric from Forbes. Watch. I can't sit back and watch our nation thwarted on the road to self-determination. Our small, independent neighbours enjoy wealthier, fairer and greener societies, and so should we. And if this comment by SNP Westminster leader Stephen Flynn is anything to go by, the SNP may become more Republican too post Sturgeon, who never publicly suggested a post-separation Scotland should split from the Crown. Jackman said that Australia should be a republic. Would an independent Scotland be a republic or want to keep the monarchy? I, I think Hugh Jackman said in time uh, <laughs> through uh, an evolutionary process that may come to pass and I, I would probably be quite sympathetic to a similar uh, evolution in Scotland in time, yeah. That's interesting because in the last independence referendum, I remember the SNP said very clearly they'd like to keep the Queen but that's a different uh, no, position. No, no, no I'm, I'm quite happy with, with the status quo as it stands but over time it may well be that the people of Scotland decide for an alternate vision but that'll be for the people of Scotland to determine. So sadly, we're struggling with our connection to Neil Oliver, so I'm going to bring in my superstar panel on this. Top Daily Express columnist Carol Malone, senior reporter at the I newspaper Benjamin Butterworth, and former Brexit Party MEP and political commentator Belinda Lucy. Carol Malone, look, I, I, let's start with this whole Republican issue, right, because I found it completely fascinating, actually mm. very telling. That was such an interesting interview yeah. from Stephen Flynn, because this is the extreme generation, the young generation mm. of the SNP who are going to come in, and if... If, 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 if anyone in Scotland is silly enough to believe Sturgeon's lies that a separate, uh, a, a separate of Scotland wouldn't become a republic, he's just blown the whistle on that, well and truly, right? He has blown the whistle on it, but, but let's remember that the SNP, the people who vote SNP, are not the, the, the young generation. They're not, they're not like him. Um, and they have stuck with Sturgeon because they believed her to be a good leader. But, you know, I, you know, I, tell, I tell you what I think is going to happen with the SNP now. I think it's going to implode because I think everyone who's kind of up to be leader has different views on how this should go. Anything more extremist than Sturgeon was is going to alienate a huge mass of the SNP. I think they're going to end up fighting internally with each other and they're going to have no effect. I think what's going to happen to them is what's happened to the Tories already. And I think, you know, people like Stephen Flynn can shout about it, wanting to be a republic. The majority of Scotland does not want the country to be a republic. And I, and I think a lot of these extreme people that you're talking about, these younger people, I think they're not in touch with the people of their country. They're not reading the room. They're not reading the country in the same way Sturgeon didn't, which is why she's gone now. Uh, and I just, I think they're going to implode. Kate Forbes, I think, has got no chance whatsoever. None of them, mm. I mean, I didn't like Sturgeon, but Sturgeon had charisma. None of these people have well, charisma. And, and Benjamin, she also knew how far she could push the Scottish people right. And this is very, very bad from the SNP, what Stephen Flynn has done, because he's basically revealed their secret game plan. And their game plan is at some point to secure separatism by telling all of us, oh, don't worry, you can keep all the British institutions, we can keep the BBC, we can keep the monarchy. No, they don't intend for that. They intend to become a republic. I mean, I completely reject your idea that it is extreme to be a republican. It's a perfectly legitimate, reasonable viewpoint, and I think it's quite acceptable to say that an independent Scotland might want to be a republic. It would be up to them. But I think the truth is that an independent Scotland has not looked less likely for a decade or so because as Nicola Sturgeon said in her exit speech she said that she can't take the support for independence okay. any further and I think she's right but what she didn't seem to recognise is she's taken it as far as it's going to get. You've got Kate Forbes who's the finance secretary mm -hmm. at the moment she has said that she's against same-sex marriage. Yeah, yeah. Now that is not a popular she's view a among SNP members. And look I'm going to bring Neil Oliver up. This is like the old days remember when we first started on the show it was Carol <laughs> Alone, Benjamin Buck with Neil Oliver, my very first night. Neil Oliver is back. Uh, Neil, look, Benjamin Butterworth just speaking then about the fascinating social positioning of Kate Forbes. And, and I think you've met her, you know her a little bit. I mean, she's certainly a, she would certainly be a change from Sturgeon, wouldn't she, in terms of pushing some of these extreme social ideologies? 
Yeah, I mean, just to be clear, I've met, I met her once for a few minutes. We both attended the same memorial service for a, a, a Scottish battle from the Jacobite rebellions, and we spent a, just a few minutes in each other's company. She's a very nice woman, a very personable, uh, you, know, you know, nice, pleasant, easy to get along with, I would have thought. And, uh, you know, I, can, I could well understand that she would be an appealing candidate for the for SNP and for, for First Minister. Uh, and also, you know, she's she's got very traditional values. You know, she's she's uh, you know, she speaks openly about her Christian faith. Uh, she's part of the, the Free Church of Scotland. Uh, and so that, that means that that comes with with that comes, you know, a, a clearly stated approach to a lot of issues. Uh, and she's been she's been very honest and straightforward about that. And I, I would I would say as well that kind of straightforwardness means that you, she's probably someone that you can talk to and have conversations with and disagreements with without it spiralling out of control into the kind of viciousness that's been that has typified you know the the, the Scottish political debate in recent times. Um, so so yeah. Uh, okay, and, so, so that's Kate Forbes. What about this monarchy uh, revelation from Stephen Flynn, Neil Oliver? Well, because that was something well, Sturgeon Stephen, always always ran away from. It, what's infuriating, Dan, what, what sounds like business as usual for the SNP, though, is this is all they're ever about. You know, they're a single issue. They're not really a political party. They are a protest group, a single issue protest group. All they ever want to talk about is independence and everything that goes with it. You know, for example, re replacing the monarchy with, a, with, a, with an elected head of state or whatever and, and declaring themselves a republic. What the people of Scotland need and want after all this time under the, under the cudgel of the SNP is a government that actually cares about the things that they care about. Deal with education, deal with health, deal with crime. And yep. stop these vanity projects like the gender uh, recognition, the, the gender bill, and all the rest of it. We need a government that actually looks after the people of Scotland, and that is what we have been absolutely without for the last decade. Because all they want to talk about is independence, and the people of Scotland are sick and tired of it. Demonstrate SNP that you can run the country, that you can be a yes. government that does the day job, Dally. and leave the vanity projects Dally. to one side just for a bit. But they can't. But they can't. But that was beautifully put, Neil Oliver.